Known for being quiet, quaint, and affordable, Yuba City is currently ranked number seven out of 201 on the Milken Institute's best performing small cities. My favorite part, I like the peace <laughs> and I like the people. People are very friendly here. Salon owner Louis Mendina has been here nearly 60 years and is flattered the city is now considered a cut above the rest. Back in the 60s, it used to be a real growing town route through Marizal. Then it died down and they rebuilt Yuba City and now it's changing to climb the ladder. Areas are ranked by how well they create and sustain jobs and economic growth. And we're really excited that uh, you know, our strength has shown through in, in this study. The city credits local businesses that have created hundreds of jobs over the last five years. We try to stay out of their way and not, not provide a bunch of regulatory burdens. Go ahead and take the bandage off in about an hour. It made it easier for Heart and Soul Tattoo to move here 10 years ago. Has anything really changed in the last year or two? They cleaned it up. They've stopped the panhandling. They've controlled the, you know, helping with the homeless situation that we had here, and then they brought in better businesses. Elizabeth Sultan grew up in Yuba City and moved back for a pretty good reason. Well, actually for a job. The city has seen its shares of ups and downs, even made one list they weren't too happy about. When I was in high school, we were voted number 329, so the worst place in the nation, the Ram right? McNally, yeah. The Ram McNally uh, to live. So, so from coming from that to then in the top 10, that's amazing. It's very impressive. And growing with sweet opportunities for more business owners. It'll be like a kid in a candy store. In Yuba City, Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News.